What's up? It's your boy JD, aka Resurrections, with my personal jersey collection, volume 10. It's been a very long time, I know. I apologize, everybody. A lot of, a lot of, you know, shit I've been through. You know, a lot of stuff been going on. I apologize. Um, come back to start school again. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been really busy. But as a quick say, I got a lot of messages. Yo, know, JD, how come you didn't do your video? You know, where's your video? Where you at? Yo, I've been busy, man. But um. Due to all the requests, I'm a new, I'm making a new video. I'm gonna do one right now, alright? So here we go. Alright, my first one is a Harvard Classic. This right here, Carmelo Anthony, uh, Denver Nuggets, the throwback. Um, I don't know, it's kind of dark in here, I apologize, but if you can get the stitching, it shows right there. Along with the 15, um, stitched, the 48 right there, and then on the back, got Carmelo Anthony's name, stitched along with the 15. Um, one thing that really got me about this jersey is that the 15 is like gold and yellow on the front, and then on the back, um, the 15 is like white, so, but yeah, this whole entire Denver Nuggets logo was stitched, even the Nuggets, so, it's a good jersey. Alright, my next jersey is a player who now plays for the Denver Nuggets, um, number one, I know you guys are going to think this is Allen Iverson's Detroit jersey, I mean, he does play as number one in Detroit, but this was uh, before Iverson came to the Detroit Pistons, and that's Chauncey Billups, number one, Billups Stitch, number one Stitch, Detroit Stitch, number one, there, and here's the size tag, right there, very good jersey. Alright, number three is a player who is now in the Detroit Pistons, as I just stated, and that would be my AI, Allen Iverson, y'all know. His career, you know, was noted best in his career when he was in 76 years. He got the number three, double stitch, and he got the Sixers to start right there, and Iverson's name back. Y'all know about Iverson. Right there you can see the stitching, three. Here's the tag, and on the back, Iverson's name is stitched along with the number three, the jersey. Alright, next one, number four, another player who's now the 76ers, who got traded, Elton Brand, he's right here, did his thing when he was in the Clippers, 42, um, you can see the tag right there, it's a 52, and here's the Clippers logo with the 42 and Brand's name, and 42 stitch, very good jersey. Okay. Next one is uh, Sacramento Kings. Y'all know Mike Bibby, who now, play, uh, who now plays for the Atlanta Hawks. Did his thing in Sacramento along with Ron Artest and uh, Kevin Martin. Those three were like pretty good. You know, they really, um, they did their thing. Yeah, they did their thing in Sacramento. But uh, you can see right here, C52, um, Sacramento, Stitch, 10 right there. You got Bibby's name. And you got number 10. Um, which I might add, you know, I'm planning to get a uh, Kevin Martin jersey because Kevin Martin, he almost got the Rookie of, uh, rookie of the Year award, but uh, Monte Ellis got it. He was really close, uh, really close in the votes. I forgot how much, but yeah. Kevin Martin's a really good player. Um, Alright, now on to the Heat, the Mitchell Ness jerseys. My first one is uh, Los Angeles the Lakers. Um, Elgin Baylor, y'all know, did his thing back in LA in the 60s. You can see right here, Elgin Baylor's name, uh, or I mean the Harvard Classic logo, my bad, sorry about that. Mitchell Ness, um, and then you got Elgin Baylor's name stitched, along with the 22, double stitched. And yeah, this is a really good jersey. Um, the next one is one of my favorites, Portland Trailblazers. Y'all know number 32, Bill Walton. Very great player. You know, noted for his uh career in his career with the Blazers, and then he played in San Diego and then um Boston Celtics. But you got the Blazers right there stitched. Long one 32. Um and then on the side here, you got the like the trim. And then on this side you don't got the trim. But um I'm sure the jog tag real quick, Mitchell Ness jog tag. Very rare jersey. Retails for like about like 300 plus bucks. But I got a hook up on this, so pretty good deal. Um, okay, my next one is a rare one. 
because it's retired by Mitchell Ness as well. Um, I believe it is, so you can't find it. You can't buy it on the website, but it's uh, my Phoenix Suns. Connie Hawkins throwback, Mitchell Ness. You can see right here, Phoenix is stitched. Uh, it's number 42. On the back, you got Hawkins' name stitched. Double stitch along with uh, his 42. And here's the Mitchell Ness drop tag. Alright. Two more. You know what? I'm going to just show you these two at the same time because it's the same player. So, um, my favorite Hall of Famer of all time, rest in peace. Um, Y'all know who my favorite Hall of Famer is, and you're going to guess it right. Pistol Pete Maravich. Um, personally, my two favorite jerseys of my all-time favorite Hall of Famer. Um, in the back, you got Pistol. Pistol uh, Pete's name right there. And then um, here you got Maravich's name, but I'm going to go in detail with this. The first one... Um, the Jazz logo is, is screen printed because this is how it was worn back then. Um, so Mitchell Ness, they like make the jerseys like the exact way they were worn. Just make them fit for um, people depending on the sizes. Um, you can see Maravich's name is stitched, but in the number seven is screen printed. And here's the drop tag for that. Right there. All right. And um, finally, the green one, the lime green. Pistol Pete, Atlanta Hawks this was his jersey that he wore back when he was uh, with Atlanta, and his number was 44. Um, I'm show you jaw tag real quick. There. Oh, sorry about that. Right there, and on the back you got his 44 stitch along with the pistol. Um, if y'all want to see a picture of um, Pistol Pete wearing this jersey, I actually have it on my wall. It's right there. I don't know if it's blurry, I'm sorry about that. My camera is like kind of blurry, but um, yeah. Um, this was worn back uh, when Pistol Pete played in Atlanta in the 70s. Um, so uh, yeah, I showed you 10 jerseys, so I guess that's it, man. I requested. Um, I'm definitely not going to stop collecting jerseys. As a matter of fact, uh, I really want to. I just want to get more jerseys, man. I'm like addicted to jerseys. I'm not gonna lie. I love jerseys, and I don't just like buy jerseys and not wear them. I mean, of course I wear them. You know, that's the point of why I buy them. And you know, the players. You know, I really love basketball. I love watching the NBA. Um, but stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna have another video up. I don't know when, but I'll have one up soon. All right. I'm out. Peace.